Hey guys, it's Anthony Bandiera here, attorney and senior legal instructor for Blue to Go Law Enforcement Training, bringing the roadside chat. This question comes from an officer in California. The officer says, look, um, my question re re uh, re uh, relates to misdemeanor offenses uh, not committing committed in the officer's presence and when to cite and release. My agency trains that officers trains officers that a cite and release is actually still an arrest. We still have to have the victim fill out a private person's arrest form and it is officer discretion. Can we cite and release without the private person filling out the form or do we need to, the form for either an arrest or a citation? Any clarification? All I can do is answer. I can't answer like what your DA's office wants. I can't answer what your agency prefers. All I can answer is the constitutional question. The constitutional question is that, um, you know, we, we definitely need something from this private person, right? According to uh, Penal Code 836, you know, we know that in order to make an arrest um, for a misdemeanor, it has to be committed in the officer's presence. Well, we also know that citizens' arrests are allowed in California. So it has to be committed in the citizen's presence. And that probable cause has to be related and relayed, I should say, to the officer so that the officer can actually assess the probable cause. All right, so here's what's going on. Number one, the officer not only has discretion to make this arrest or citation, but the officer must make an independent probable cause determination. In other words, you, you shall not make an arrest when you do not believe probable cause exists because you know you are absorbing that citizen's arrest that becomes a uh, your arrest when you you know basically arrest a person on behalf of somebody else. So if you know people don't understand the law sometimes. Sometimes they they think a person has violated the law when in fact you realize that the person has not, or it's a debatable case and you want the DA to assess it. In other words, you have discretion. You have to have discretion. You can't just take an arrest uh, purely based on a citizen's allegations. Number two, um, look, the Penal Code 836 only you know, involves in an arrest. Um, citing somebody um, is not really an arrest, okay, in, in the constitutional sense, at least. It's not an arrest. An arrest occurs when you take custody of a person. You're not taking custody of somebody when you just cite and release them. Do you take, is a person arrested when they are cited for, you know, petty larceny uh, and they're going to be let go, you know, uh, paraphernalia or a traffic ticket? They're not arrested in a constitutional sense. What PC 836 is referring to is a real arrest. Like, hey, you're going down to the station. You're going to jail, et cetera. That's what it contemplates, not a cite and release. So as far as this form, this private person's arrest, look, I don't know what the beat, you know, what the what the form has and if it's just overkill or whatever, but you do need something to prove that a, an offense has been committed. And even though an arrest has not occurred, does it have to be on that form? Um, I'm sure California agencies have different takes on that. But that's what's going on. I hope it helps a little bit. Uh, maybe I don't have enough context to actually, or maybe there's more something more specific here. If you have something more for me, let me know. Um, and I hope this video has helped you get it right every single time. Until next time, my friends, stay safe.